SCPGA is excited and equally eager for PGA professional and junior golf competitions to resume as we move to the other side of this pandemic. The staff has been working diligently to create and adopt guidelines that will be in place for participation when events resume. Safety and section and participation responsibility is our main focus and you will see has become a priority for future events. We want to ensure that you, event participants, are protected and ultimately feel comfortable in returning to tournament play. Since COVID-19, there have been numerous changes in daily life and at the golf course. To better prepare you for the return to the course, here are new protocols that you can expect to see at Southern California PGA professional, amateur, and junior events. For the purpose of this video, I will be removing my face covering so that you can better understand me. Do note though, all staff and rules officials will continue to wear the face coverings for the duration of the event. As you arrive on tournament day, please then arrive at the golf course earlier than 45 minutes from your start time. This spacing will allow us to minimize large gatherings and monitor the proper social distancing requirements. The facility will have proper procedures in place for parking and handling their golf equipment. Wear face covering and we ask that each player handle their own golf bag and equipment when removing from the vehicle to the practice area, to the golf car, and to the starting tee should you be walking. You will see here the player has just arrived on site, is grabbing his own bag from the car, and will be taking it to the practice area 45 minutes from the starting time. As the player approaches the clubhouse, you'll notice that all SCPGA staff will have face coverings that will be on for the duration of the event. Staff will also be wearing sanitary gloves when touching any other equipment that could be touch points. You'll notice this interaction here between player and staff. They have maintained their social distancing of at least six feet, and the player has remained with their face covering on as well. Good morning, welcome to SCPGA tournaments. How are you? Good. Did you have a chance uh, last night to read over all the, the email with all the safety precautions and protocol? Yes, I did. Good, I'm glad. Just a reminder, it's your responsibility to adhere to all those. Please make sure you keep your face masks on around the clubhouse and in the parking lot. Park your stage right down there. Have fun today and play well. Awesome, thank you. You got it. As you arrive at the practice facility, you will notice the spacing of stalls will have proper distancing and the practice balls will have to be properly sanitized. Only participants with face covering are permitted at the practice range and ask that you please do not exceed 15 minutes while warming up. If there is no practice range and only a hitting bay, we ask that you do use your own golf balls there. As the player approaches the practice putting green, you will notice too that there are no cups cutting to the green and they are also using their own balls here as well. Players are asked to please maintain their social distancing when on the practice facility and continue to wear your face covering. For the foreseeable future, golf carts will have a one rider policy. All golf carts will be properly sanitized by the host facility as well as double checked by the SCPGA staff. If it is a team event, we ask that one player will walk while the other player will ride. Please do not change drivers unless you properly sanitize the golf cart. All tournament documents, such as notice to players and home locations, will be sent to players electronically the night prior to the event, as well as posted on the tournament information page. You may use this during the round by using the app or take a photograph of the documents. Or if you wish, you can retrieve the documents that will be supplied on the starting tee. Start times will be at least 10 minute intervals and no more than one group shall be on the starting tee at once. You will notice as you approach the starting tee, a few different procedures. A starter will be there to greet you from a safe distance, wearing all the proper protective gear, face covering and sanitary gloves. There will no longer be a starter box with teas, sharpies and the like, or any snacks or any beverages available on a starting tee. We kindly ask that you bring your own necessities, including hand sanitizers. Here, you will see the player arriving to the starting tee with all scorecards and proper tournament docu documents laid out on the table. Each player will go up individually to retrieve their materials. 
The starter will be there from a safe distance to explain any rules of the day. The players will then head to the starting tee. Be sure to arrive on the first tee with your face coverings and continue to have those on for your first tee shot. The players may remove their face coverings as they leave the first tee. During the round, we ask that you continue to maintain proper social distancing of six to eight feet, such as these players are. The rules of golf shall be applied during the competition. There will be three additional local rules that will be adopted due to COVID-19 that cover bunkers, flag sticks, and holding the ball. Due to safe golf guidelines, there will be a reduced number of rules officials available on course. A rules hotline that will be listed on notice to players will be a temporary method for requesting and resolving any ruling situations on the golf course. If you do have a ruling that will require an in-person decision, we will handle it in this matter as you see this player here who is in the red penalty area. You will see here that the rules official does arrive for the ruling for the penalty area and approaches the player in a safe manner and continues to maintain the social distancing. The rakes have been removed from the golf course and your ball may come to rest in an unmaintained area. When going to the bunker, the player may mark their ball, lift it, clean the ball, and place it on the area within one scorecard length from where it was lifted. The player may then take their stroke, and then we kindly ask, after making your stroke, to then again smooth out the area with your foot to care for the course. Flag sticks shall remain in the hole and not be touched for any reason. If a player makes a stroke without the flag stick in the hole, it will result in a one stroke penalty for the breach of this local rule. If the flag stick is, remo is removed inadvertently, prior to the stroke, replace the flag stick and no penalty. All holes will have a noodle in the cup so that the ball does not fall to the bottom of the hole. This will reduce any touch points on the flag stick or the cup. Upon completion of play and arriving into the scoring area, this is another spot of high traffic the SCPGA will minimize gathering and touch points. The scorecards that you received on the first tee would not be required to be exchanged and attested by your fellow competitors. We ask that you verbally confirm your scores from the round. Once you verbally confirm the scores, we ask that then you bring the scorecard and simply place it in the designated scoring drop box. When you drop your scorecard in this box, the scores are official. After this, we ask that you do depart the property and follow the scorings on the SCPGA app. Should you be in contention, we ask that you do wait in your car until all scores are entered. You may follow the scores again on the SCPGA app. If there's a tie for first place, we'll be using the scorecard playoff procedure, with the exception for our major championships, such as the Cal State Open, the Section Championship, the Women's Section Championship, the Assistance Championship, and the Senior Section Championship. For the award ceremony, we only ask that the champion attend and no one gather or congregate. The trophy will remain in the original packaging and will be sterilized by the staff prior to handing it over to the player. As you see here, the trophy is on the table and we'll simply ask the player to go retrieve the trophy and maintain our distancing. You may find a list of exact guidelines, recommendations, and protocols that the Southern California PGA will be enforcing at events by visiting our website at scpga.com and click on the COVID-19 link. Thank you for your understanding as we work through these times and look to enjoying our sport under normal circumstances. Stay safe, stay responsible.